Hello guys, welcome back. Tokyo Kara Ohayo gozaimasu. Herzlich willkommen guys. So I give you an update on Mullen or I want to give you an update on Mullen because we had a nice price action yesterday. Mullen squeezed uh, 35%. Yeah, that was expected that we squeeze, but I didn't expect that we squeeze 35%, guys, because based on this Fibonacci retracement here, this is very, 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 very often the case that we see a, a squeeze incoming here to this uh, Fibonacci retracement here from the 786 retracement. We always retest the golden pocket or nothing is always, guys, you know that, but the chance is very high. And Mullen did that yesterday, but... Uh, it didn't stop at 10%. It squeezed and retested the bottom of our previous liquidity zone. And then, guys, we saw a hard rejection, a hard sell off. So, more or less, you know, if you traded like this Fibonacci retracement and exit your position, you still have more plus than just waiting until the end of the day, unfortunately. And this, guys, um, is, to be honest, a bearish signal, guys, because. We retested now the liquidity zone, so we, we retested it here, got rejected. We retested it one more time, got rejected. Then we found our support in the Fibonacci retracement, squeezed again, retested this and got rejected, guys. This is unfortunately not bullish, guys. We still, of course, seeing here some bullish price action. You can see that the green candles are quite big. It looks not bad, guys. It is possible that Mullen can recover, but if Mullen wants to recover, guys, first we need to see a price over 30 cents. Very, very important that Mullen goes over 30 cents and stays there without seeing any big rejections, yeah, which is also lining here with this EMA line. This is what we want to see first. And the best case scenario, guys, for Mullen, before we can see a huge short squeeze or something like a squeeze, is when the price goes over 34 cents. I said that already, this is a very important liquidity zone for Mullen, the 33 cents, 34 cents. And you can see that this is now aligning here with the EMA line as well. And yeah, this is what we want to see, guys. We want to not see a price under 25 cents. Yeah, keep that in mind. And we want to see a price at least over 30 cents or in best case over 34 cents, guys. Then, yes, then we can talk about some possible squeeze incoming. Here was the main resistance, the main bottom for Mullen, 44 cents is waiting. So just for today, guys, it is possible, yeah, if Mullen can continue now with this momentum, it is possible that we see first of all, I think here this 15% move is no problem. Then 28% is still possible. And in best case, guys, we're retesting here this area which means we have a price run up from today's price of 67%. This is possible. Guys, as soon as we leave this Fibonacci retracement, when the price close below 25 cents, I think the sell-off for Mullen will continue. Keep that in mind. Very important price range. It is a possible day trade, especially on this price action here. What is very, very strange that we had this huge price action here without any volume. So normally we see a 100, 140 million volume for Mullen if price actions like this happens. Yeah, you can see this candle here. Yeah, that was 141 million volume. And the total price action of this day was about, yeah, just 50%. So, and you can see with much, much less volume here, with just 55 million volume, we see already 35% price move this is quite interesting guys also the rsi looks not bearish guys for now we are yes we are here in the bearish area still of the daily rsi but we had our cross here we found support found support bounced back so as soon as mullen can go over this 50 percent area on the rsi guys i think a huge squeeze or some kind of a squeeze yeah we don't know how high is possible guys yeah it looks not too bad to be honest but it was the same more or less here you can see that we have always some waves here and it is possible, as I said, this is the first wave. Maybe we see the second wave here, the third wave incoming and then we have to check what happened here. So a lot of resistance levels and yeah, if Mullen should gap up overnight, I mean, this is also possible that we see a gap up of 70, 80% overnight. So if Mullen goes over 44 cents, guys, and can keep this level as a support, yeah, then we see a squeeze at least here until this white trend line, 36 cents, guys, is possible. For Mullen, it's very interesting. I like to follow up the stock. I want to give you just a quick look at the 
weekly chart and this looks terrible guys really terrible the rsi is still okay we're still trading over the uh, moving average here on the rsi but of course we are totally totally oversold and it seems yeah because we are oversold since april this year guys since april it does not seem that Mullen can recover yes it is building here some kind of bullish divergence in the rsi yeah you can see that here that the rsi is slowly 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 going up yeah slowly but yeah the price actions guys is just too weak but keep that in mind it is possible that something big is incoming for Mullen, but this is very very risky guys i tell you that in all my videos i hope for everyone that this thing squeeze yeah and we can regain one dollar and even much higher but this is a very risky stock you should um, consider an exit strategy maybe to buy more stocks at the lower price level but yeah that, i know that it takes a lot to uh, to average uh, down the price when you bought in here and i don't know the five six dollar area yeah guys I, tr I try to give my best to inform you about the price actions what could happen next for mullen as i say guys keep just in mind the 25 cent range could be a support yeah it is possible when we keep this Fibonacci level up and we squeeze over this EMA lines here, guys. Yes, then a squeeze here to the 44 cent area is possible. And if we go over 45 cents, guys, then even here the 68, 63. So this range here is a possible squeeze price target for Mullen, guys. I keep it quick and simple. I will inform you if there are some important price actions. And yeah, guys, thank you so much for your support. I wish you good luck with your trades. And see you in the next video, guys. Thank you so much. Arigatou gozaimasu. Vielen Dank. Und bis bald. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.